Today's Daily Dose of Math is about an algebraic model from the Math 2101 course. A pool holds 9,600 meters cubed of water, but 70% of it is in the deep end. We need only the deep end fixed, and we're going to get that done by either contractor A or contractor B, and what they charge is explained here. Who gives the better value? Which contractor should we choose? This is the type of question where you are given an algebraic model that has been made for you. The variables have been defined and the equations are given with some extra information. So it's just about using a given algebraic model. But the question might be considered too easy if all you have to do is plug numbers into an equation to answer it. So there are some extra steps. The first extra step is we can see the volume of the pool, but we're not getting the work done on the entire volume of the pool on 70% of that volume. So we do an extra step right at the beginning. We do 9,600 meters cubed times 70%. So I'm just going to write times 0 0.7, the decimal version of 70%. And we get 6,720 So it is the 6,720 meters cubed that has to be plugged into the equation. And that's a Y. It is the Y that is the volume in meters cubed. So we're plugging 6,720 into both equations, but in the Y position. Let's do contractor A first. We have 6,720 equals 250x plus 200. We'll move the 200 to the other side. 6,720 minus 200 equals 250x. This gives us 6,520 equals 250x. And we divide both sides by 250 in order to isolate our variable, these cancel, and x is equal to 6520 divided by 250. Twenty-six point oh eight. And that isn't x, it's hours, the unit of measure. Now we do the same thing with contractor B. I'm running out of room, so I'll write down near the bottom of the chalkboard, and I'll try to use my space better. We have y equals 300x plus 150, 6720 equals 300x plus 150, 6720 minus 150 equals 300x. 6570 equals 300x. Divide both sides by 300. These cancel. X is isolated and is equal to 21.9 hours. Well, we can see that it's taking contractor B less time than contractor A. But that doesn't give us the answer to the question because they also give us the salary that the contractors are making. A is earning $15 an hour, B is earning $18 an hour, so we have yet another one of those extra steps. For A, 26.08 is being multiplied by 15. And it's $391.20. For B, 21.9 is being multiplied by $18 an hour. For $394.20. It's close. But A ends up costing less by just $3. So therefore, the final answer to the question is 
A costs three dollars less or any other good complete sentence style answer to the question. So what we have here in summary is an algebraic model that is given to us where we have the variables defined for us, the equations given, and extra information given. We do a few extra steps, but mainly what we are doing is we are plugging values into the two equations in order to answer a question. That is today's Daily Dose of Math. Please like, subscribe, and share.